November 2018, I went in for an ultrasound for something completely unrelated. And um, they, they did the ultrasound and everything seemed fine. And the next day I was picking my kids up from school and I got a phone call from my doctor saying, um, did the radiologist talk to you? And I said, no. And she goes, oh, okay, well, your, your IUD is in place, um, but you have a very large mass on your left ovary. She's a young woman in her early 40s, um, kind of peak of her career. She owns her own hair salon. She has children where she's running and juggling between her own career and her family life. And so I could tell when I first met her that it was shocking to even hear the words, you might have cancer. And so patients we meet like this, I know by the time they've met us, they have waited for that first appointment for the ultrasound. They then waited for more scans. They've heard the possible fears of cancer and ultimately it's that I, I want to know. And so by able to get them to the OR as quickly as possible and not having longer wait times, it really does give them some relief of their anxieties. It gives them a focus of what the next steps are. I had my doctor's appointment on, on December 21st and when Dr. Helen Steed first said the soonest we can get you into surgery is January 23rd. Um, both my husband and I were just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Right? We, I've already had cancer nine years ago. I, I don't want to wait. By having that additional OR at the Lois Hole Hospital, it would allow us as gynecology surgeons to probably get an additional day a week to operate and definitely get our OR wait times to be able to tell patients they would have their cancer surgery within two weeks of meeting our team. Dr. Houndsey came in and she, uh, she basically just said, so, you know, she told me exactly what they did with the surgery and she said, so right now you're sitting at stage two ovarian cancer and um, it had, my cancer had spread to the bowel. And then when I got home, we were home for, I guess, probably two weeks. And that's when I got the phone call from Dr. Helen Steed about my pathology results coming back. And, um, and that was when I learned that it was actually stage three ovarian cancer. And because it had spread to my omentum. When a cancer is that deadly and can spread that fast, you need to get your surgery fast. <laughs> you, can't, you can't wait a full month. Um, I'm living proof of that. Hopefully stay living proof of that. Having all of you here at the Harvest Celebration means the world to me. And means the wor I know it means the world to a lot of women who have used the Lois Hole Hospital. The Lois Hole Hospital has helped me immensely and and having those funds come in allows them to do that. I have a 22% survival rate past five years. So my chances of it coming back are pretty high. My chances of me not making it past five years are pretty high. And my kids actually know that. Um, but there's also that 20, 22 of us, put 22 of us in, or 100 of us in the room with the same diagnosis. 22 of us are walking out, right? So why not me?